Okay, so Gemini, Gemini ascendant, rising sign, or if you have Gemini in your first house. I have noticed that a lot of Geminis will have um, very short, their body are really thin, very lean as well, especially their arms. I really like their arms. It's like they're always thin, like really thin. And um, in most cases, their smiles are quite charming, you know. It always shows their th teeth, that kind of energy. They are very um, flamboyant. They like fun. They are very excitable people. And as a mutable sign, you know, they can be changeable all, all at the same time like they can be talking to you one on one it could be a serious topic even but their mind is wandering around maybe thinking about another man or you know thinking about of oh, what I'm gonna do or gonna cook later on those kind of things they can you know simul simultaneously think of different things all at the same time while doing something else that is one of the perks of a Gemini rising. Also, um, they can be really, really good speakers, really intelligent people. Not really uh, a type of person like a Virgo where in, you know, I go straight down into business of what's really important and really study them. They are more of, I'm curious. It's all about the curiosity of life. I want to learn this. I want to know this. Those kinds of things. But they can be really, really smart, you know. Um, they can be like um, a valedictorian, you know. An honor student. That kind of energy. They can be really, really good with studies as well. They know a lot. They're very smart. They can do a lot as well because they like to experiment. They love to try new things. They are adventurous. There's a lot of celebrities out there and popular people that we know that are very, um, they like to experiment with their looks. Miley Cyrus is a, um, to uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a Taurus Rising. But it's already at the degree near Gemini, and you can see that she's always um, changing her looks, those kinds of stuff. Even though she does retain that Taurus energy, um, since it is a 29 degree of Taurus, she vibrates the energy of Gemini a whole lot, especially as she grows, grows up during her 20s, 30s, those kinds of energy. It's more of a Gemini kind of energy. So, um, yeah. Also, um, you will notice that they, they can pull off short hairs a lot of times. There are a lot of Gemini rising who has short hairs and they can be, they can really look good on it. You know, it's not going to be the same for every every other signs, you know. Also, the colors that they tend to like are, you know, very light shade. And since um, Gemini is a twin, um, you can expect a lot of doubles in their life. They could be um, having double jobs. Um, they could be a salesperson at the morning and maybe a porn star at night. I mean, that's just a sample, but they can do things in doubles. At the same time, they can be quite attracted to two people at the same time in a relationship and making a decision to just focus on one person alone can be quite a struggle. And sometimes, um, truth be told, um, Gemini Risings, even when they are already married, there will be cases wherein they might um, engage with illicit affairs or be with you know, someone else other than their marriage partner. Speaking of partner, they do like to connect with people. They love to socialize, you know. It's not really much of a career endeavor for them. 
though they can be really, really good with their career, they can save a lot of money. They know really how to save. They they have their um, uh, what they say cancer in their second house. So it's something that they can really you know save. Uh, they can really save a lot of money with their tent house in Pisces. You know. It, their career is not really something that motivates them. Though they can really work on something if they push their mind to it. But it's not really a priority. But what is a priority for them is to socialize, meet new people, travel around the world, do new things. Because by doing new things, it's like a whole new adventure and they really love and enjoy that. Um, experimentation is really a big factor and you will see that sometimes that their experiments are quite unique you know it's not really the conventional type of one it, they have you know some an orthodox kind of idea most of the time they have a whole lot of ideas you know they never run out of ideas even so you'll notice that a lot for a lot of Gemini rising people. What else? Um, Gemini rising people um, has a love and hate when it comes to their family matters. It's like their family, their family is like their home space. It is the place where they feel comfortable, but at the same time, they tend to butt heads with their family members. For some reason. So it's like, you know, there is a love and hate relationship with their family members, things like that. They can have problems when it comes to their work, but they know how to handle it. They have their sixth house in the sign of Scorpio. And Scorpio is the sign that, you know, can really look into the details of things. And even though they enter a crisis situation, they know how to get out of it. They know the way to create some form of solution into things. So that is something that a person can really rely on. Though sometimes if they do enter a crisis situation, it can last for a whole long while. So that is just one of the perks right there and the negatives. Also, um, Gemini rising people, it's not much about being intelligent. You know, I did mention that they are very intelligent people, but it's more of not really, you know, a scientist kind of intelligent. It's more of um, random intelligence. It doesn't really have a very specific um topic you know they like to absorb and learn new things they just absorb everything that they know that they find out they love to gossip that kind of energy it's not really about what is the purpose of why i'm knowing this you know there is no reason for their own action they just do things because it's fun because because i want it because i want to learn it because i want to enjoy this, you know, they're really, really fun people to be around. They're very exciting as well and very charming. So, um, yeah, also they are very fast in nature. They can be fast runners, fast eaters. Everything that they do is simply fast and very rarely that they have weight issues. For the most part, they never gain weight. So they are always slim. That is probably because, you know, they have a very, um, there's really something in their system that, you know, makes them fidgety, that kind of energy. By becoming fidgety, they become very highly nervous people as well. They can be things like that. Highly nervous, highly excitable with, with things all at the same time and sometimes they get mad and then later on you know it's like a, a switch of a, a machine wherein I turn it on and then I turn it off and it changes in a blink of an eye it's like they don't even hold 
some grudges or anything like that. They are mentally stimulated people. Those kinds of um, energy we're in, you know. I like to, they can do and play mind games for the most part. Those kinds of uh, type of people. So, because, you know, everything that goes into their mind is a priority to them. Also in Gemini Rising, people like games. So you will see them in, you know, anything that brings some form of joy, excitement, and, um, you know, some form of fun. They are very practical-minded people, though. But, you know, they're practical in nature, but they tend to get attracted by various things. That is why um, concentration and focus probably is their um, weak weakness. For Gemini Rising, because you know, I see a sparkle over there. Oh, what is this all about? You know, I'll get attracted with it. And sometimes the thing I really hate about Gemini Rising is that they cannot say one thing and put it off. You know, because I am a Scorpio or the rising sign of Libra with my moon in Pisces. So even though I do have a mutable energy in me, um, my sun sign is really, really, really strong. So if you tell me something, it has to be that. I rarely like to be, um, I, re I rarely accept change, <laughs> basically, especially if you already told me about it. And Gemini Rising people is like the type of person that will walk into the mall and they plan to go to Uniqlo, let's say, and then they suddenly go to um, to to Walmart, let's say, you know, and then at the middle of going to Walmart, they suddenly go um, elsewhere or, you know, they never reach their goal because of that. Very, very scattered people, you know, I, I want to do this, I want to do that. It's like, you know, you need to split apart their body so that they can do all of, all of those at the same time. So they always need as well someone to be there for them, <laughs> for them to stay on track. But the really good thing about G Gemini Rising people is that, you know, even though they can get overwhelmed by a lot of things, they like it, you know, even though it is overwhelming, they like it and they will try to make it all happen one at a time. Well, not really one at a time, two things at a time, all at the same time. So that kind of entry. And sometimes, you know, for Gemini Rising, it's like, I want to do this. I want to do that. I don't know how, but they're still going to do it. There is that type of energy with them. Also, there is a situation wherein they can be quite aloof. Uh, wherein, you know, they have their own mind. They have their own energy. Even when they are with around people, they are their own self, that kind of stuff. So, um, for celebrities, Gemini celebrities, we do have Pamela Anderson. Very charming. We all know who is Pamela, right? I really like her arms. And I've noticed, make sure you take note of the celebrities I'm going to mention. You will see that their, their teeth area, their, their mouth are very charming. It's like one of the features that you instantly see when you look at them. Also, for some reason, they like um, emphasizing their eyes as well. So a lot of Gemini writing people tend to give emphasis on their eyes, like they putting a lot of liners and eye makeup as well. So Sandra Bullock is also um, Gemini Rising. Lady Gaga is also another one with Gemini Rising. So speak about that, you know, always with a weird get up. Well, not really weird, but we can we can all agree it's quite eccentric the way he she dresses up. 
Hillary Clinton is another one, and you can see that you know, um, with the with the teeth area, it's always showing up. That's the thing for Gemini Rising. For some reason, their teeth always shows up. We also have Kristen Stewart with the eye, the eyes, and the teeth as well. And also, it's like you know, um, with two partners. Gregory Peck is also a Gemini Rising, so you will also see with him the energy of that um, very charming. You know, there's something about his smile that really charms a person. That kind of energy. So um, yeah. For Gemini's, it's all about fun, laughter, um, enjoyment, and they can be quite attracted to relationships that can give them benefits. That is a thing for Gemini's as well. They can be superficial when it comes to relationship. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna mention who, but you know, I have this person that I know that oh, that is a Gemini strong suit, um, and they will always say, "Are they rich? If they're rich, then go for it." You know, I mean, that is a negative way to put it, but there are cases wherein you know they can be superficial, and that is just the truth. So when it comes to relationship, there is an area wherein they want someone who can support them, who can um, can do everything for them. And there is also a part wherein they also want to to be with someone that can make them happy. So that is probably why they always tend to get to attract two partners around with them, because unless that person fulfills all of the all all their needs, they cannot be satisfied. You know, it has to be two things. Okay, so that's it for my Gemini rising ascendant sign video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you'd like more to get updated on my next few videos on my ascendant series, please do subscribe, like the video, share if you like. And um, yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts about this as well. See you next time.